Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reading. Let's see what the strawberry moon kind of, what energy did it bring for my Virgos, right? Now this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, my Virgos. So let's see, what does this strawberry moon do for my Virgos? All right, hope that everybody is well. Hope you guys are enjoying the weather wherever you are. Well, it's kind of warm now here, so that's nice. So give me two cards. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. So don't let pride get in your way. Leo energy here. I'm also hearing, <laughs> I don't know, I'm hearing ego death. So I don't know. And nothing yet is set in stone. The bottom of the deck, we have take time to breathe out. A new romantic cycle begins, a new start. Show the world the real you. Don't let pride get in your way. Why is it here? Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be, right? Again, this energy of an ego death. I have judgment and the hanged man. So there may be something here that happened either to you, Virgos, or somebody around you, right? Where the universe may have caught judgment here. Someone may have gone through some karma. The hangman is an energy of now feeling stuck. But it's also an energy where, yes, you may be feeling stuck here. Um, but it's also so that you see something differently, right? It's almost like I'm hearing, you cannot behave like that. It's like I'm hearing, it's not acceptable. Six of Cups. Someone may have reaped some karma for something they did in the past. What is don't let pride get in your way? Again, you know, this energy of somebody may have had to bring brought down a peg or two for vibing from a um, pride and ego space, right? Give me some cards for this. Don't let pride get in your way. Thank you. What is the message? Show me. Four of Pentacles. So with that hangman energy, right? Someone here could be stuck financially. Maybe that was their karma. What is the Four of Pentacles? Now the Four of Pentacles is also this energy of somebody wanting to hold on to something for dear life. Coming out sideways, yeah. The Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups is an energy of disappointment, sorrow, sadness. Something not working out the way you expected it to. This is an energy of somebody crying over spilt milk. What is the Four of Pentacles? The Fool card. Now, even though we have the full card here and, you know, it talks about going on a brand new journey, it talks about having faith, it talks about taking that leap, right? I get this energy of somebody doing something risky, foolish. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Devil and the Six of Swords. I don't know if somebody here is leaving a toxic situation, relationship, and moving to karma waters is kind of what I just saw there, choosing to become single, or that is somebody who's leaving a situation and choosing to come towards you, Virgo, because you do represent the Nine of Pentacles energy. Now, it could just be that somebody's choosing to be, do you know what, independent. They're tired of a codependent situation. What is the Five of Cups? The Death card. Okay, yeah. All right. So someone may have been dealing with a Scorpio here. It doesn't have to be, right? What I'm getting for some of you Virgos, because I'm not necessarily picking... I mean, this could be a situation, right? But I feel like for a lot of you, this may be a situation that is outside of you. There may be somebody here where, like I said, they will serve some karma. 
maybe something ended for them and it might put them in that energy of reverting back to you virgos of thinking back to you um but we're going to clarify right so what is the four of pentacles and the full card show me what this energy is thank you for my virgos thank you spirit four of pentacles and the full yeah <laughs> i'm hearing this song <laughs> Um, and it is called Risky, but it's also, he's saying something about someone's body, right? So I'm going to give a metaphor of a vision that I'm having. Let's say, Virgos, you was with somebody in the past. We saw that six of cups. Say this person left you for somebody else. I feel like you've got an energy like this the other day. Say this person that they left you for looked good, you know, whatever, right? Maybe they had finances, whatever they had. Maybe they had material stuff. For some of you, I feel like around this strawberry moon, <laughs> I feel like some karma was served where something may have come crashing down for this person, like I said. Right? Right? We have the Emperor and the Nine of Swords here. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus here. What else do we have? You definitely could be dealing with an Aries. Some people class the Fool as Aquarius. We do have um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the Four of Pentacles. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Five of Cups. And then we have Scorpio with the Death card. This Emperor next to this Nine of Swords is giving me the energy here of somebody who overdid their control. This person with this Nine of Swords seems to be in some kind of distress now. The Nine of Swords talks about anxiety, it talks about worry, it talks about not being able to sleep, right? It talks about that mental prison. This can even be, I was going to say for someone, this could even be like nightmares <laughs> over a love relationship that maybe they chose over you. What is behind? Wow, the Tower card. A situation that maybe came crashing down for them, right? That is how karma works. What is the five of cups and the death card? For this energy. Wow. <laughs> Show me first why I'm the empress. High priestess, all oh, the five of pentacles, three of pentacles, or two of swords. So some of you already knew this. This is why you cut this person out. This is why you blocked this person, right? This is why you left this person out in the cold. You know that they had you in a third party situation. You know that they was working with somebody else. Right? Well, if you didn't know, now you do. <laughs> what is this empress energy? Oh, okay. <laughs> They're saying to me, look at this. We both have the emperor and the empress here. And so we do. Why is the empress here? Two of wands and the four of wands, which is the six of wands together. Oh, so now they're realizing who the real empress is. Now you could have children with this person, right? This is a general reading. Um, about the strawberry moon so you could even be dealing with family the empress could be representing a mother right she is a mother figure this person is looking at this four of wands the four of wands it talks about stability it talks about someone being happy some of you may be in new solid relationships right someone here may have just got married right this person may have turned around see this person in this card they're spending a lot of time worrying about those three cups that have fallen down. They ain't really paying attention to the two cups that are standing, the opportunities that they had behind them, right? And not only are they disappointed that these cups have fallen, but they're realizing that, hey, there was blood in these cups, right? Now, for some of you, by the time this person turns around, it may be too late. For some of you, by the time this person turns around, this man is holding a world in his hands, Again, the four of wands with the two of wands is a six of wands, right? Which talks about victory. It talks about public recognition. Some of you may be on some platform where that's all, that's the only place this person can watch you. For some of you, there may have been distance between you and this person. 
but like I said, there's two people in this card that look reunited, that look happy. And then this person is standing there alone. Two of Wands is about making a decision. This man, yes, he's holding on to one wand now. So maybe he's telling me that someone here has made a decision. But again, is it too late? Is it too late now that someone is seeing you in this energy? Right? So maybe the Strawberry Moon is bringing realizations to people. Right? Clarity in certain situations. It's almost like the energy of removing the veil. And for some of you, whether this is you or whether this is somebody, like I said, outside of you, I don't think this person liked what they saw when the veil was removed. Because you wouldn't be in this energy, would you? Again, like we said, this is somebody who thought they had their shit in control, right? They thought they were the boss. <laughs> I was almost going to say Big Daddy. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah. All right, nothing yet is set in stone. What is this energy? What is this energy? Thank you. Oh, coming out. <laughs> Wanted to land right on that emperor. But I see you. <laughs> the hermit, which is our energy, Virgos. All right. There may be some information coming towards some of you here. You may be finding something out with this hermit. Okay. <clears throat> the king of wands wow okay so this fire sign you have aries leo sagittarius again what is the hermit show me the seven of cups now the seven of cups talks about options it talks about confusion it can also talk about illusion here we will clarify it why is this king of wands here I do feel like, yeah, look at that, the Eight of Wands fighting to get out here. Do you know what? Which it makes me, that King of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, uh, wounded warrior energy here. I don't know. I don't know if some of you are dealing with a fire sign, right? But we'll clarify because that, oh, that fire sign, it could be a different fire sign. Maybe somebody new here that wants to reach out towards you, that wants to communicate, but we'll see. The Hermit and the Seven of Cups, why is it here? Thank you, Spirit. Queen of Swords and the Four of Cups. Why do I feel like somebody wants to reach out to you? They want to speak to you here. They feel like they've missed an opportunity here with you, Virgos. But this person may be, <laughs> they may be afraid of... Um, what it is that you have to say to them or maybe the way you will communicate with them right <clears throat> because the queen of swords she doesn't play she doesn't mince her words right she communicates clear and direct and that's exactly what she expects and she doesn't get that with the queen of swords she's not afraid to use that sword right she will cut you out she, she doesn't yeah she doesn't have time to play the queen of swords she doesn't <clears throat> The Queen of Swords can be, like, a little bit emotionally detached. So she's like, yeah, talk, speak your piece, right? What, what do you have to say? You know, she's not going to be like, oh, okay. and No, 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 she's not going to be like that. So someone may be afraid of that. What is this King of Wands and the Eight of Wands? Show me. Nothing yet is set in stone. So he's giving me the energy of something hasn't been finalized. Something hasn't quite finished here. The five of swords. All right. Why is the five of swords here? Now the five of swords can be a very tricky energy, right? The five of swords can be an energy of, oh, you know, somebody saying, doing anything to get the um, kind of outcome that they want here. The five of swords could be an energy that somebody sees that, hey, regardless of whatever they said, did. Um, you are getting victory regardless here. Um, the Five of Swords. Let's see what came out of it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> ah, the Lovers in the Tower. That same energy of somebody realising here that maybe, you know, someone they chose over you wasn't such a wise choice here. It may have seemed like a victory at the time, right? The Lovers in the Tower. 
Again, that energy of karma, somebody realizing something here. Oh, this strawberry man took somebody out. Yeah. Oh, but I am seeing the energy here of, look at this, Virgos. I'm seeing, oh, wow, I didn't even see the Ace of Pentacles. There, there is something coming toward you, Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, right? And it could be, it could have to do with your business with the Eight of Pentacles here, something that you are very skilled at. So that could be anything for some of you guys. But the Ace of Pentacles here with the opportunity, and look at this, the judgment, blessed by the universe here. So somebody here was on the wrong side of that, Wheel of Fortune, and somebody here was on the right side, is from what I'm seeing. So, well, I'm seeing the Romance cards. So, let's get the Romance cards to end this reading. Thank you, Spirit, for my Virgos. Look at this, Trust Deception. Somebody that maybe just, someone that did you some injustice in the past. Um, it looks like they're wanting to come back and heal things with you for number one. But they're wanting you to trust them. So, I don't even know if... That this over here is saying to you, if you guys may be dealing with a fire sign, doesn't necessarily have to be, but the king of wands is out here, the emperor is out here, the fool is out here, it's very strong fire energy. Some of you, it may be saying that when this person comes back towards you, that hey, maybe you need to refuse their cup, right? Maybe it would be a tower moment to take this person back for some of you. Again, it's a general reading. My information is always down below if you're interested in a personal reading. And thank you to those who donate to the channel as well. So that really helps and it's really appreciated. So first romance card. Trust is out again. This situation is calling for you to have faith. All right. Give me a card for that trust. Give me a card for the trust. Thank you. Soulmate. Wow. Yes, this is your soulmate. So some of you could have been dealing with a soulmate, right? Nothing yet is set in stone. Give me two cards for this energy. Thank you. Oh, unrequited love. Again, we see we see that five of swords there with a tower card, right? It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now, it could be that once this person comes back, that Virgos, you just no longer feel the same about them, right? If this is somebody from your past. One more for this unrequited love. But it looks like somebody doesn't want this cycle to be over. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. This person doesn't want this cycle to be over for some of you. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And if they haven't returned yet, they're definitely thinking about it, right? But I feel like with that Queen of Swords here, I feel like you guys will be ready. You know? Use your intuition here. You will know whether you should accept this offer or not. You will understand if this person is feeding you an illusion. Why? Because you have the hermit here and you've done enough growing, right? You're the hermit. So that's what I have for you, Virgos, for the strawberry moon. Guys, stay safe, love and light.